How beautiful is this Wyra Roadster? It's painted in Rosso Dubai. This color is absolutely gorgeous. One of the nicest reds I've ever seen. It's simply stunning. And you even get to view your engine. Six liter twin turbo V12 engine sourced from Mercedes AMG. This Wyra Roadster is gorgeous, but this one is even crazier. It has a completely exposed carbon fiber body which is so striking. Would you guys take this Wyra Roadster or the red one? Honestly, I'm torn between the two. They're so different, but they're both so gorgeous. And here is an extremely expensive and special Pagani Wyra, the Wyra BC Coupe. There's only 20 in the world, and when they were new, they had a price tag of $2.5 million. That's more rare than the new Wyra Roadster BC, which is 40 units in the world, and it has a starting price of $3.4 million. You'll notice this car has brown carbon fiber, which is really interesting. I can't say I'm a big fan of it, to be honest, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. There's brown carbon fiber everywhere, especially on the front for the hood, and this massive front splitter it says Wyra BC on there, and even the massive rear wing is brown carbon fiber. So the Wyra BC is the track-focused version of the regular Wyra, and you can definitely tell that by looking at it. It has very aggressive styling and tons of aerodynamic improvements. As you can see at the front, you've got carbon fiber canards, and like I mentioned, you have a massive carbon fiber rear wing. That thing is so big, you could probably eat a meal off of it. It's huge. This car is painted in Verde McLaren, which is a very striking and beautiful green paint color. And it also has gold accents, as you can see there, and running along the side of the car, and over there. This room is really cool. There's tons of Pagani merchandise, a big illuminated Pagani sign. It's a really cool room. Sadly, I can't go inside, but we can still admire this beautiful beast from here. The Wyra BC is named after the late Benny Caiola, a friend of Horatio Pagani and the first ever Pagani customer. All Paganis are special, but this one is especially special because it's been inspired by its track-focused predecessors, the Pagani Sonda R and the Zonda Cinque. This car has an improved version of the standard Wyra's 6-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine, and that engine produces 750 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. The BC shares only its roof panel with the regular Wyra Coupe, with all changes being made to maximize downforce. So this car has deeper side skirts, lightweight forged aluminum alloy wheels, and carbon ceramic Brembo brakes. It has a 7-speed automated manual transmission with an electronic mechanical differential, and just like these two Wyras, the gear linkage is exposed. The gearbox and brand new electronically controlled active differential are actually 40% lighter than those of the regular car. And at the time of its release, this car had the lightest and most effective suspension ever applied to a road-going high-performance vehicle. Because this car has a carbo-titanium monocoque, it's extremely lightweight. It only weighs 2,685 pounds. What's crazy is that there's only 30 miles on this car, and it's a 2017 model year, so it's barely been driven, and it looks like it's in pristine condition. When they first posted that this car was for sale, I was so excited to see it because of how bold it is. You really don't ever see a spec like this. I've never even seen brown carbon fiber, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on how how that looks. This showroom is so cool. They even have carbon fiber tiles on the floor and carbon fiber all around here in the entire room. Here's the roof panel for this Wyra Roadster. We've got some Pagani mugs 
a model car and some merchandise. And check out this table. This table has carbon fiber on it. That is so cool. This is definitely the coolest showroom I've ever been in. Huge thank you to Miller Motor Cars for letting me check out these three beautiful Paganis. They're all currently for sale, so if you know anyone that's interested in one, please don't hesitate to contact Miller Motor Cars. In the McLaren showroom, there is a 688 HS, HS standing for High Sport. It's a track-focused version of the already track-focused McLaren 675 LT. And look how many orange accents are on this car, especially on the steering wheel and surrounding the instrument cluster, also on the AC vents. You've got the race bucket seats covered in Alcantara. And there's a plaque on the driver's door that says limited edition chassis number 15 of 25. So there's only 25 of these cars in the world. There's tons of exposed carbon fiber at the back here. And there's even orange exhaust tips, which are very fascinating. You also have this massive rear diffuser and a view of the engine.
The price of this car is just about $700,000, which is the same price as the Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta, but that car, there's less than 500 units, and this, there's only 25 units, so this is way more rare. Next to that, we've got the brand new 765 LT, LT standing for long tail, which means it's the track focused version of the 720S. It's painted in chicane, and I love this paint color because you can see orange in the paint. So it's gray with a hint of orange, and it's gorgeous. You've got exposed carbon fiber mirrors and matte carbon fiber on the interior, tons of leather, orange seat belts, and orange stitching. I wish this car had the carbon fiber bucket seats, but these seats are still cool. And one of the distinguishing features of the 765 LT is this exhaust setup. Four pipes in a row. At first I hated how this looked, but now I kind of love it. As the name implies, there's 765 units of this car, which is way less rare than the 688 High Sport, but this is still an amazing supercar. Here's a McLaren GT in a color called Pacific. Such a gorgeous color, and it pairs so well with the tan interior. And next to that, we've got a Volcano Red 600 LT with exposed carbon fiber at the front. So that was my extremely fun and special visit to Miller Motorcars in Greenwich, Connecticut. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.